Oh, I forgot. I think last time we went all the way over. No, we didn't. I don't think we did. I don't think we did talk to uh, Germ Warfare last time. Or did we? Let's see if this is something I already did. If, I, if it is, I apologise. We'll just redo it. Hey, Germ. Hey. Wanna hang out? Uh, I don't know. I suppose I hang with Greg or B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. That's the next logical step, though. Coming from this guy, I, I, I'm sure. No. Yes. Interesting. I didn't think... I didn't think this would be an option. I thought we'd just have to juggle Greg and B. And uh, I've already said yes to B. I already kind of twisted her arm. So I'd feel bad if I didn't. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, is that that? That's it? Okay, well, he, he didn't take it personally, and that's the main thing. That's the, that's the, that's the good thing. Oh, yeah, we can't go any further this way. Mm -hmm. Let's go see Greg. Greg might take it personally that we don't hang out with him, and he might... Actually, I never thought about this, because he told us in the last episode that he was going to move away. So if I don't want to hang out with him, he might think that it's because he said he was moving away. I hope not. I hope he doesn't take it personally. It's hard to juggle friends. That's why I've never <laughs> had a big group of them. It's too hard to please that many people. Best to keep it simple, you know. Either I'm just super antisocial. That's possible. Antisocial. Introverted. Says the person streaming on a platform. Like platform. <clears throat> Hey, Greg. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, hang on, what? Hang on, wait a second. Um, well, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> you drink like all the coffee? Oh, no, wait, you have any death experience or something? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that would be me. That would be me last time. I nearly died last time. I feel like I, I think I feel like I should bring this up because I want to keep rubbing his nose in it. I'm not rubbing his nose in it, but kind of like, like never letting it go. This job is one long near death experience. So do do do. You want to do something something something? I uh, can't. Yeah, man. No, I already said yes to B. See, I can't ditch. Can't. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. At B. I kind of want to juggle them all, but is it? Are you meant to just pick one friend and stick with it? It's like half a spoon when you try and pick someone to, like, befriend quick, quicker than the others. Aw, oh, man. It's cool. Is there anything else you can say? So, dude, dude, dude. Oh. Oh, no. No, I already said. No. I thought there might be some other conversation. So, I guess we can toddle along and talk to, um... Talk to B and see if she's ready to hang out. I wonder what me and B are going to do this time. More crimes? It seems to be my specialty. Two different evenings with two different friends committing crimes and nearly dying. We're having quite the time of it. Oh, wait, no, on a party barn. It's the other place. It's the, um, yeah, or pickaxe. That's the one. Certainly hope you're free to go. Or do I have to wait till I get home? So, are we doing this? Let's hang out. Hi, B. Hi, Mae. Hi, Jim. Hey, dude, wait, wait. What's Jim doing here now? Uh, Jim's helped me move stuff for under the table cash. Oh, <laughs> more crimes. Minuscule crimes, but still crimes. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Want to come? Oh, sure. Not quite as exciting as what we did last time, but I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Okay, Jim, you have fun, buddy. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. Are you sure you want to leave that guy in the back? I don't think he should be touching any of this stuff. I'm kind of concerned. All right, then. He's like something out of a children's book. About whatever the hell he is. 
dinner at B's. Oh, I like. I like the way there's obviously different paths you can take, depending on which friend you choose to hang out with, or whether you maybe just don't choose to hang out with anybody. I'm sure there's lots of different things you can do, and like routes that you can wander down. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food. You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. I mean... Donkey! <laughs> you sure showed ham panther corporate who's moss. Yeah, well, if they were listening. Might have made them shed at least one tear. One capitalist tear, maybe. Actually, did you know our senator is on the ham panther board or something? Oh, right, cool. Corporate interests, that's fun. You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Just checking. Glad you're aware. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were going to hang out. Shopping is hanging out? May I believe you me. When you going to we've been all there. Shopping is hanging out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Ooh, let me pick out what we have. Frozen meal, frozen meal, frozen meal. Mac and cheese, frozen meal. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Yes. Dinner at my friend's house, dinner at my friend's house. Are you asking? Sorry, before I get too excited about something that might not actually be happening. I wasn't, but now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Oh, may please just pick something vaguely normal. <laughs> please. Do we get to choose what she picks? Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Oh, I actually love it. I haven't had the chance to do it much because of reasons lately. Oh, I got my tea. Just in case you were wondering, Tuesday night is tea night. You know what? It's already cooled down quite a, quite a lot. Okay, I'm, I promised, didn't I, that I wasn't going to just waffle on about my tea going cold, so I'll try not to do that. Need, like, a main course and two sides? Hmm. Fancy? Eh, we're traditional. Uh, what kind of main course? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, man. Okay, 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 you hang out, and I'll be right back. No dessert. That sucks. I'm not much of a dessert person myself either, really. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, uh, no shoplifting this time. Okay, jeez, rules. The rule guardian over here. Fine. Uh oh I can afford a few groceries, man. Also, this place has cameras. Hmm, good point. Yeah, she has got me there. Okay, no crimes today. Um, okay, what's this? Tash? Green beans? Mystery tin? What is that? Like chicken soup? Cream of chicken soup? Nah. Wait, what did she say? Oh, do we have to pick something from... No, we don't. What did she say that I was sensitive to? I wasn't paying any attention because I'm obviously living vicariously through me right now. Canned good or something. Okay, she's she, she, Davos says of something, but I forget what. Um, Succotash. Fuckatath. Fuffin Fuckatath. No. Greeny beanies. I do like green beans. I do. I've never actually had actual, legit Succotash before. Um, it's vegetables. It's vaguely healthy, right? Let's do delish. Om and om nom. Okay, that's the canned good. Uh, maybe grab something from the box, too. A box, a box, a box, a box. Okay. Um, 
Oh, there is mac and cheese. I was only joking, but I had a feeling it was going to make an appearance. Tasty taters, mashies, and rice. Green beans. Mm. Oh, are these? Mashed potatoes? It's a classic, right? You can't go wrong with a bit of mashed potato, even if it's the instant junk. Mm, boy, delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Cool stuff. Literally cool stuff because it's the freezer. Ha, 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 ha. We're on form. Quick skits. Cream... Cream greens? What's the quick skits? Oh, biscuits is in flipping like hot scones, savory scones, right? Are we getting a bit heavy though? If we have like those and mash? We've already got greens though, so we don't really need more. Ooh la la. Can we literally just grab like everything? Hmm, should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. Yes. Bakey shaky. Oh, that's as far as we go. Um, B might be not amused that I bought a little bit more. But we'll see. My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Do we know before that that's where our dad worked? Did he mention it before? Do, do, do. Can I walk slower than this? Can I walk like... Nah, it's one speed. I'm one speed, mate. Super speedy or no speedy? Oh, but super speedy or no movie, I guess, at all. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. Uh, how are you, Mr. Porosky? Can't complain. I mean, I, I would. But, you know, not while I'm on the clock. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. Meat friends. That's totally the kind of thing I would say. Helps to stay friendly with your pride cuts and best fishes. True. You know them well enough and you'll know exactly what to give to someone when they come and ask for something. It's like, I feel like you could do with a little bit of Billy Beef today. Uh-huh. Right? Hmm. Sorry. The, 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 the big gulps of tea are completely necessary. Uh, still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. Well, like sitting on the couch doing nothing and uh, wandering around the town, hanging around, bumming around and doing nothing except maybe committing a few minor crimes. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> uh, I forget I said anything. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh, yeah. That was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Oh, the store greeter. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I, it's not so... It's not a big thing back home, right? It's not something you bump into in the UK at all. Um, and here it's like... I, I, I mean, from what I can tell and what I've heard about it, it's just to give old folks like a job, right? An income, but... I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird thing to me. I don't know if I can quite get, totally get on board with it. It's like someone who stands at the front door just saying hi... I mean, I don't even like going to a shop and then people wander over and say, I do no care, can I help you find anything? It's like, I'm, 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 I'm fine. If I want help, I'll come and find a staff member. Also, I'm super stubborn and I'm determined to find everything on my own because I don't like being told what to do or how to do things, even if it's really the most logistical thing to do in certain scenarios. And my streams of consciousness are getting worse. Um, right. Yep. Called a greeter. I knew I recognised him from somewhere. Uh, alternatives? Not working. Oh, I figured that's what he meant. Meh, did you not kind of wrap your fuzzy little head around that one? So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. Oh, how's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Let's see. 
we've got to try and match it to what we've picked up so far. So we've picked up green beans, we've picked up mashed potato, and we've picked up biscuits. Um, chicken. I think chicken might go well with... Chicken goes well with everything, though. You can't really mess up with chicken, right? And it's one of the cheaper meats, so if B says she's on a budget, chicken's probably... Chicken's probably achievable, isn't it? Let's do some chimkin. Can't go wrong there. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Wait, what does he mean pull the trigger? I don't know what she means by that. What? Does that mean get, like, a lot? Or does it mean... Hmm. Well, I hit yes, but I don't know. Oh, does that just mean, like, kind of, like, is that your final answer? Is that all that meant? B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, eh. Uh, I'll grill us up something nice. Good old grill. Mmm. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice. Thank you. Yeah, friends of the dinner. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. All oh, right, dinner decided. Chicken, green beanies. That is what I picked, isn't it? I picked the green beans, yeah. Mashed but instant mashed potatoes. Oh, the bakey shaky. That works with chicken too, right? And some hot biscuits, scones. Basically, they're scones. They're not exactly scones, but to me, they're closer to scones than anything I call biscuits. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. Hey, I was vaguely sensible, believe it or not. This is this is head screwed on nearly completely right, mare, not silly kooky mare. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, ladies, let's see what you all got. Hmm. Hmm. It's like he's judging it. Yes. Okay. Little bit of a, little bit of a zag there. That's fine. It should work. Looks completely 100% okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell you, Dad, I said hello. See you later, Dad. Night, ladies. His overuse of the word ladies started getting to me at the end. Let's let them enjoy the drive for two seconds while I have some of my lovely delicious tea. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That was fun. Yep. Groceries. I like shopping. Am I strange? I like looking for the deals. There's always that trolley full of cheap bread. And another trolley full of, like, just random baked goods. You know, they want to just try and sell off cheap before they chuck it out. Right? I'm, I appreciate that. Right? Better than just chucking it out. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. I'm going to just assume it was sarcasm. I don't know for sure. Shopping is fun. But wait, just not long ago, May was saying that she didn't want to do the grocery. She thought we were hanging out. Okay, fine. Woohoo. I mean... BB's B... 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 Dinner time. Oh, do I get to help cook? Oh. This is okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's all right. Could you do better than all right, do you think? Do you think you can do great or outstanding? Thanks. I'm feeling less like I'm being thanked every passing second. I just feel like I'm being judged. Yeah, it'll do. Oh, it'll do. That's like the worst compliment, right? It's like when you give something, someone anything, right? And it's like, ah, it'll do. Thanks. I th thank you for suggesting I did the bare minimum required. I'm not saying that isn't sometimes the case. I'm just saying that it's not cool when you say it out loud like that. Thanks. You did fine, mate. Thanks. Okay, stop. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. I mean, that's my life. That's how I grew up. That's why I picked this stuff. 
Thank you, May. I'm really good at food. Wait, what's the rest of that? How do I know what the rest of that sentence is? Um, let's just go for it because I don't want to do the daft. I'm good at food. I mean, it's more me. It's more that character, right? I feel like... No, 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 I just wonder what the rest of that sentence is. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got a really good grade in home ec back in high school. I made this shirt. Oh, the shirt that, yeah, yeah, the one that someone was like, oh, cool, what's that from? It's like, it's not from anything. I just made it. It's from my brain. Hey, hey, can you fix my pants? Uh, any money in it? Dad, we can get you some new pants. No, I can totally fix them. It'll be so much cheaper. I can put like a really snazzy patch on it or something. Really? Damn it. Thought that was how I was going to start making some income. So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. Alright. That rock's all sorted. So she 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 essentially runs the store. Did she mention this to us? She she she's looking after the shop. Basically the manager, but she's not the manager, but she's all but the manager. Does that mean her dad's just not not feeling it? Is he is he just is he is he down in the dumps? Um you know, there's, there's, there's something there, right? There's something in the background. This is another one of those little background stories that's going on in this game. That's so intriguing. Hmm. Yeah, she'll be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh... I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. Think I might just get to them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. Well, maybe if you took a bit more responsibility for the shop again instead of leaving your daughter to do everything. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Who's doing all the work? I mean, that's... Also, this is a super awkward conversation that we're sitting listening to. Should we excuse ourselves or something? Should we just kind of like, just kind of like, edge, edge away? You know, just, just a little quick bathroom break or something, just to let them talk this one out. Or are we gonna insert ourselves into this conversation? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Smelter's playing tonight. Uh, we're gonna go hang out in my room. Uh, yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Oh, yep. Oh, at least he did say it. that. Sounded more like a. That sounded a bit more like a genuine thank you compared to the last one. Booby. Do I have to? Do Do I have to? Oh, okay. Oh, super dark over here. <laughs> Didn't like that much. Can I tell him off? Smelters, huh? You a fan? The honesty in me has to come out. Not really. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, trust me. I know exactly what I'm missing. And that's why I'm missing it. Thank you very much. My parents watch the smelters pretty religiously. <laughs> they raised you right then. What happened? I have no idea. I feel like if I was raised watching hockey, I'd be more likely to enjoy it, but because it's not something that I grew up with, I just struggle. Maybe that's what it is. That could be it, you know. Because, I mean, I'm a big, huge, massive football fan, soccer, um, because I was raised with it. Same with darts. Um, same with tennis. Same with rugby. Uh, uh, cricket, I got into myself. That's one sport I did get into myself. But hockey, I've tried. Since I moved over here. The first couple of years, I feel like I really did watch a lot more of it. Bloody Stanley Cup playoffs are on right now. The Montreal 
are in they, they just got through they just knocked the Maple Leafs uh, out I mean I followed the scores but I just can't sit and watch a game and I know there's all these big rivalries this like between the Canadian teams but because I just moved to Canada I'm just like if a Canadian team progresses then that's good enough for me because I haven't got the same kind of deeply held kind of antagonism that all these other hockey fans have towards other hockey teams fans <laughs> I'm just kind of like eh whatever roll the dice Canadian team lands face up great anyway oh that's it okay you have no idea you just didn't like it I guess did you guys just move in 10 months ago why aren't you unpacked? Oh boy. Maybe it's better that we did pick B to hang out with because I feel like she needs someone to talk to. Pretty cool record player. Your old room was like... Hmm. Bigger. Messy. Really messy. Everything just still sitting around in boxes actually makes it look vaguely tidy, if not barren and bereft of life. Eh, I was a slob when I was a kid. Some people just don't grow out of that though, so kudos on that. If you can't unpack, you can't mess your room up. There's some ethos to live by right there. I'm sorry, I'm very conscious of my gulping noises as I'm drinking my tea and I'm very sorry if it's off-putting. <laughs> guess the boxes take care of that problem. No, mum yelled it out of me. Mums, am I right? You are right. So I've got a question, which is good, because this is just no kind of hangout time at all at the moment. Mm-hmm. Huh, what exactly does your dad do at the store? Dad's kind of up and down, huh? Maybe that's a nicer way of putting it. He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. <laughs> oh, oh, I felt that one. I felt that one. It's amazing, you know, how sometimes you can really, you can wake up full of bloody positivity and just be like, yes, this is the day. This is the one. This is going to be... Fantastic! This is going to be the best day of the week, hands down. No one's, no one, nothing's going to top this. This is it. This is my day. And like two hours later, you're like, why did I even get out of bed this morning? Why did I waste my time? I should have just stayed under the covers, huddled away and hidden away from the world like the burrowing creature that I am. But then there's other days when I wake up and I'm just like super miserable and I'm like, oh, I hate everything. I hate my alarm going off. I hate the fact that I have to get out of this bed. I hate the fact that I have to dress up even though I work in the basement. I don't have to dress up, by the way. I just like to because it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something with my life. Um, but then two hours later, that's it. That day, I could be just like, oh, wow, I've had so many nice comments from people today and everyone's really chill and cool. And yeah, this is nice. This is a nice, great day. I mean, I guess what I'm saying is the people around you can affect your day just as much as you yourself can, but nobody can affect you as much as you can. You have the control over your... I was going to say you have the control of your emotions. You don't always. No mental illness, you really don't. It's like, it's like, oh, damn it, who flipped the switch? Who who flipped the switch inside there and made me feel all shitty all of a sudden? Um, what I'm trying to say is other people can sometimes just not... They either can't pull you out of a funk that you're in or they can't put you in a funk depending on how how your brain feels that particular day right that's an everyday it's a bloody lottery every time i wake up on a morning how what kind of mikey's getting out of bed today you just never know not until you actually feet hit not until your feet actually hit the floor and then you open your eyes and you go okay how do i feel today it's funny it's funny. Usually by the end of every day, I'm, I'm feeling I'm kind of at peace with everything because you've got to, I've just got to switch everything off at some point, right? I've just got to flick those switches and just go, you know what? It is what it is. And now I need to just try and take my some time for myself. I'm sorry, B, I'm leaving you hanging with this discussion and I feel terrible, but I, I just can't help it. I need to throw in my two cents every now and again and drink some tea every now and again too. Mm. 
Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Great's always been like that too. Just more uh, zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. What about you? Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. I mean, you run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Are we going to try and tell B to usurp her father? Take the throne? Take the hardware throne? Sit there on a throne of hammers holding a pickaxe? This be mine now, father. Is that what we're doing? Is that the best idea? I'm not saying that's definitely what's happening, by the way. It's just a theory. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day too. Yep. Wait, was that meant to be May that said that? I just think you shouldn't. Okay. That's not... I mean, it was a response. It wasn't a very impassioned one. Just think you're like selling yourself out. I'll probably just quit. Uh, I mean, yeah, May probably would. Not that I'm trying to call May out here, I'm sorry. But I think B can do better than this. The thing is, though, how this discussion could end up going very... It could get flipped on me. Because I could try and big B up and say, well, you're, you could do better than this, and you could do that, and you can do this, and you can do the other. But then B could just as easily flip it around and just say, well, you're talking about how good I am and how good I could be. Why aren't you trying to be as good as you can be? But I'm going to go with it. I think you're selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it, just reinforces... Is this really the road you want to go down with this? Um... Stand up for yourself or just like quit saying it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Oh, this is tough. I mean, they're nearly both the same comment, but one's got the word quit in it and one doesn't. But I know family, right? It's a dad. If it was any other boss, if it was just any regular old boss who shifted all the responsibility onto you without actually giving you anything extra for it, then. You would just quit, you'd just walk out, but when it's family, it's so much more difficult because the guilt trips could come out. It could be like, oh, so you want my business to fail now and that kind of stuff, right? Oh, I don't know. Not right that you roll over and take it? Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? But... <laughs> Why? Ah, what is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek at the shop? Is he the cat? Yeah. Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no. And then told me not to be alone with him. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so we got what the? I don't. I, do I need it? Spell it out, though. Uh, um. Yeah, we'll go with what the? Because that's initially that's essentially how I reacted, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Um, why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family. And he needs the work. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, me too. 
I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook, like you're stronger than this beat. I know what Miz trying to do, but B is just not in the right frame of mind to take this kind of advice right now, you know? You're like badass and shit. You're meant to be, I'm meant to be aspiring to be you. I'm meant to be jealous of you. This doesn't feel right. You, you, badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I, you was such a shithead, you know that? Yeah, I think it's time to bring up the screamy screams. Ah! Ah! Ah, what? A lot of time folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. Always have a choice or always choose. Hmm. Always have a choice doesn't sound right because... She literally just, kind of some of the stuff she just said, like the, uh, her mum dying, she didn't have a choice in that happening, right? But always choose kind of fits the current situation. In my mind, anyway. Hmm. Chug the tea. Chug the tea. Okay, tea's all done. You can always choose. Choose what? Honestly, tell me. What is my choice here? Just leave, don't know. Tell your daddy you're not going to take it. I don't know which one I should pick. Tell your daddy you're not going to take it. I mean, I think he might need some kind of help, right? I don't know if I don't know if B losing a temper with him is the right first step, but maybe it'll be a wake up call for him. Maybe he'll just suddenly realise that holy shit, I'm 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 not doing anything that I should be doing here. Yeah, tell me you're not gonna take it. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? I'm seriously gonna punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want to come here, here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who's both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? I mean, I mean, it kind of is what I'm saying. It's just not right. It isn't though, is it? It's not right, is it? I'm not just, I'm not. I'm not in the wrong here. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm wasting my own life. Okay, I get it. Doesn't mean I want to sit around and watch other people do the same thing. It's just not right. Yeah, it isn't. Nothing's right. The whole effing world isn't right. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Cool. Just wanted to hang out. God. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around, messing with people and taking whatever you want. While the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. She was laughing while I was spraying all of the... Mall customers. I should go. Wow. May take the responsibility to leave. You should go. Well, now I'm just miserable. Oh, I'm back to walk. Did he fall asleep? Chicken dinner, like mom.
I feel bad. Ham panther dinner. Oh, fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Uh, football. I'm not happy with how that went. Hey, Dad. Oof. What's up? Long day. What serving us with such a hard time? Yeah, same here. How socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. It's very draining trying to be nice to people and help people. And then they just kind of kick you up the ass and tell you to leave. It's not great. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Dad's got the right idea. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking at the ham panther. Who's to say I'm not? Hiding around the shelves, just peeking around the side at you. <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vig, aren't we all? <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you. But you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. <laughs> Ow again. This game is making me feel bad. I come here to relax. Oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh, no. You'll have that too. Hmm. Yeah, some days you'll have very specific stress. Plus, kind of vague stress somewhere in the back of your head that you don't really know why it's there. And then more specific stress. And then existential dread all over the place as soon as your head hits the pillow every night. Welcome to adulthood. It's super fun. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Oh, great. Thanks. That's reassuring. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pop. So, uh, how about those crawl space boxes? I have sat with you on the couch two nights in a row now. Is it three or two? I think it's two. And I came to visit you at work today. Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, TV time. I'm not going to say not some TV time watching these two stupid goofs because they make me feel better about my own comedy when I watch them. Gabo and Malloy. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We never leave for too long, folks. Say, Gabo. Yeah, Malloy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Only because they don't serve alcohol in this place anymore. Most of them, anyway. Uh, no, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. At least the ones that were full, you could maybe get a few drops of booze down your neck. <laughs> These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. Oh, that's a whopper. Fantastic. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Gabo. Why's that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Gabo and I go to counselling. <laughs> Sounds about right to me. I think a few people in this game could do with a little bit of that, to be honest. Just realise the cat's in the middle picture with the super tall hats. In fact, all the cats in these pictures are wearing some kind of headwear. Interesting. Poor mom. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Whoops, I keep forgetting I do the triple jump. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um... Boink, boink, doop doop, boink. Okay. Off to bed I go, I suppose. I wonder if B sent me a message. Maybe she's apologised or something. Or maybe she hasn't. I don't know. Maybe she will in the morning. Boop, boop, boop. She did send me a message. 
I need to check in with Sharkle first. <laughs> hey, Greg, what were you doing? Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Oh, why? Don't don't just say it's because I wasn't there to hang out with you because that'll make me feel like even more rubbish than I already feel like. No reason. It just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh no! About what? I don't flipping know. Trying to improve her life? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. Let's go on tour. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets. No, one of us can have ass and the other one can have hole. And then, then it only works when we stand next to each other. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. Ha ha ha. Hi, dude. I'm cashing out for the day. Feel better, bro. See you, dude. Oh, it's not. She didn't send us a message. We're trying to talk to her and she's probably not going to respond. Hey, B, you there? Nil. Oh, yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be mean. I wasn't trying to, but maybe I should just shut up. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Not completely satisfactory, but at least she responded. That's something, isn't it? Bedtime? Bedtime. I wonder if we have more weird dreams. I wonder if that's an every night thing now where we get go to the weird, like, shadow escape and have to find the band members. I wonder if that's every night now. Or if it's just now and again. Oh. It's every night. Okay, cool. Oh, is this wind? Oh, that's interesting. Wait. Oh. That's so weird when you get thrown into these places and it's just like, oh, the moon. Um, oh, there we go, lantern. Uh, there must be a, there must be a band member up here somewhere. I love this though. I love these. Oh. Oh. They got a pipe. They do have a pipe. Who is that? Have we had random shadow people that aren't band members? Here? Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! Oh gosh, that's a long fall. Oh my word! Oh, I do. Okay, I got a little bit paranoid there. Let's just stand in this walk. <coughs> Completely fine and safe. Mm. Um, okay, so we haven't been here. Oh, right, that's just loops to there. There must be another band member to the right. This is such a weird transition from, like, lots of, like, talking and socialising and then going to, into this every evening. Very weird. Not bad. It's just an interesting kind of swap between gameplay styles, right? Um... Um, this is a, this feels like it's a big, ma okay, there's someone else. Two of four. Can we go down? Nope. Whoa, I jumped, I jumped big. Where would the other ones be? Can we go all the way to the right and fall further down that direction? Or was there something else further up maybe that we missed? I do really like this. I do. It's very different. We could probably go to the back to the left and up that way a bit, I think. But I want to go this way a bit more first. So I can go further down this way. 
Maybe there's something hiding down here. Can I go any further this way? No! It, they must both be up there somewhere then. Back up the tower. Hmm. When I first saw what looked like the kind of like the breezy windy weather, I thought it might like affect our ability to uh, do the platforming aspect of things, but it doesn't seem to be causing too much negative effects there. Um Oh! Oh, you could probably just jump to the roof from over there. I get it. I think. It's weird. I kind of want to hang out with B again now. Do you know, I was trying to juggle between friends, but Greg felt bad, but now I feel like I should hang out with him and maybe give B some space. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, you have to triple jump this, don't you? Okay, we can do it. Oh, shoot. No! I didn't expect it to actually get proper platformy on us. I thought you could just breeze through it quite easily without having to worry too much about it. But oh no, it's making you actually do proper platforming. Kudos, game. Kudos. Well done. Didn't expect that to be on the agenda, but cool. I'm down for it. Okay, can I do this? Oh man, can I not even jump to there? I don't think I need to triple jump if I can just actually get to it. Oh, I don't need to triple jump. I can just single jump it. Okay. It's not bringing in the triple jump harsh harshness yet. Okay, why can we even go here? Whoa. Train? I was expecting that to be a thing. Okay, wait a minute. Oh man, okay, there we go. There's three. Where would number four be? This just takes us back down, right? I should be to the right. I'm guessing, because now we can just go back this way, right? This is a long one, this one. This is taking some figuring out, this. Am I missing something? Oh, is it up there? No, we went up there. But I don't think we went this way. Oh, that's just a dead end, isn't it? Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about this one. Because there's a band member here, but then there's nothing there the other way. Huh? Huh? That just goes back down where we already were. I'm not sure about this. Um, wasn't expecting this to be a brain teaser. Can we go further down somewhere, maybe? Is the steps that go down that I missed? Can I walk across the rooftop somehow? If I jump off at the right angle? I feel like I can land on that telegraph pole if I jump right. Oh, is it like, is it over here somewhere? Can I get on the chimney? Oh, right, there they are. Got it. Figured it out, no problem. Now then, back to the beginning, which I think was this way. And then we can finally wake up from this, I don't want to say nightmare, but... Another day done. Huh. Wakey time. Wakey, wakey, wakey. 
Any messages? Whoops. Okay. Greg, do you feel any better? Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Oh. It's Halloween? Oh, right. Yes. We've been talking about this. Oh, a weird message. Annual Harfest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Okay. Ooh, but if all those boxes have been moved from the call space. What if there's a cool Halloween costume in there? Oh, wait, the picture. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Grandad said I was sturdy. <laughs> sturdy. Screw it. I am sturdy. Yeah, you be you. You just appreciate who you are. Check it out. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Cans? Oh? Uh? Oh, shit. <laughs> I know how to open this. <gasps> left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. That was the code from the book we got. Thanks, Grandad. Ah, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's a tooth. Grandad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Is it like a baby tooth? Is it someone's last baby tooth, maybe? Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. Never know when you're going to get one knocked out. So, handy to have a replacement on hand. You and me, tooth, we're going to go far. I'll take it. Mysterious tooth. That's interesting. I'm glad that weird code that we found was good for something. I can delete the notepad file I created with that code in it now. I thought it was like some kind of walk, walking. Walk left, then right, then something like that, right? But it's, it's a 2D game where you can literally walk left and right, so that really doesn't make any sense. Boing. Hey, trash bird. Oh, poor thing. Oh, we're done with the bookshelf? I guess we're done with the bookshelf. How's mom feeling today? Oh, are these the boxes from the crawl space? He just brought them from the crawl space and dumped them in the... He just dumped them in the bloody hallway. <laughs> Dad, that's not quite what I wanted. Are you in a better mood, mom? I feel bad about yesterday's mood. Hey, mom. Mm-hmm. Um, oh no. It's the second day of mom being in a bad mood. Hmm. Instead of asking if she's okay... We'll just go straight to the what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? I feel like we should. Look, if mom's having a hard time trying to keep the house going and we're running out of the old, uh, the old dollar dollar bills, maybe I should cheer her up by telling me how crap my time at school was. That'll boost her mood surely so what's the story I just felt like it wasn't where I should be where you should be what does that even mean Ugh, never mind let's talk about this later any idea when you might want to do that because honey I am all ears yeah all judgmental ears and judgmental mouth and judgmental eyes and everything else I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom, that is harsh. Ow. Pain. More pain. A bit out a few times. Where is this coming from? You know you're the, f the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Ah... Uh, I'm starting to see the picture now, the pressure, the the panic, the 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 the, the, 
that's bad. That's that's bad. That's pretty bad. That's a lot. That's a lot of pressure to put on somebody from that young an age too. I mean, I don't know if six was super sarcastic, but Mum just did say, "Planet for it since you were born." I was the first. Not the first person in my entire family, but I think in a certain my line to go to university too. And I, I screwed that up bad. I screwed it up bad. But I, I think I mentioned this before, though. I, I left with good memories, good friends, good, uh, um, a, a better social side to me. So I mean, I don't totally regret it. Do I regret all the debt that I'm in right now? Hell yes, I do. But you know, you can, you can only deal with one problem at a time. You know what I mean? Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble. Just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. I ain't like having one of your mood swings again. Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Ooh, I don't want to say F off to my mom. Okay, let's go with that this isn't funny line, but she, she knows it's not funny. I'm pretty sure she's aware that it's not funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to... Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Oh gosh, okay. I thought home was sanctuary, but home is not sanctuary at all.